What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I got another top five tweak video for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first tweak I wanna to talk to you guys about is called no scroll when new message. Now it's mouthful for a name for a tweak, but what it does is actually extremely helpful, especially if you use group conversations a lot, just because usually when you come back to your phone, if you're in a bunch of group conversations, you know, you come back and you have like 80 text messages. So you're going back through your messages, trying to catch up on what everybody said. And every time that they send a new message, it actually scrolls all the way to the bottom of the conversation. So it makes it extremely difficult to actually catch up if they're continuously text messaging you. So what this does is stop that feature from happening. So you can see right here, if I go into my messages and I'm actually in a conversation with myself. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that it says howdy. But if I scroll back up here and let's just say that I was going to send myself another message and now I'm going to send it. And then you'll see right here that I actually got a new message, but it didn't scroll all the way to the bottom. But you'll notice when I scroll all the way down here that I do have that new message. So that's all this tweak does is something that I'm going to be keeping on my daily driver because this is an annoyance that I've had for a very long time. So definitely check it out if you have a bunch of group conversations. So next up, we have a tweak called HUD Transparent 8. So if you guys don't already have a tweak that changes the HUD for the volume, then you definitely want to check this out just because it makes that entire square HUD transparent. So you can see right here, if I actually hit the volume rocker, it's actually pretty hard to see, especially on this dark background. But if I open up the messages, or I'm sorry, the notes app right here, and I hit this, you'll notice that we still have the glyph and the name of what's changing the ringer, but it's a whole lot less obtrusive than it normally would be. So if I open up a YouTube video here, and let's just say that we are going to turn the volume all the way down. And then if I start to play this, and let's say we we're going to go full screen, you'll see when I hit this, it's not near as obtrusive as it normally is. So definitely check this out if you don't already have a tweak that changes the volume HUD. Next up, we have a tweak called No Banner. Now what this tweak does is allow you to watch videos without getting notifications. So you can see right here, if I go ahead and turn off Do Not Disturb here, and let's pull this down and open up YouTube. And let's say we were actually watching this, and I'm actually gonna send myself a video, or I'm sorry, a message here. <laughs> And you can see that my phone actually vibrated, but I didn't get the banner notification. That can sometimes be extremely annoying just because it's kind of laggy and it just interrupts your video. So if you don't want to get notification banners during your videos, then you might want to check this tweak out. Now we do actually have a little bit of settings here. You can see that you do enable it right here. You can also exclude applications by just toggling on right here. Also right down here, you can enable this when playing music in the background. So you just toggle that on. Also, you can turn off that vibrate if you want to. I actually like the default settings for this, but if you want to change it up, you can do so right here. Next up, we have a tweak called Tope Time. Now what Tope Time does is actually change the wallpaper on your home screen, as you can see right there, every time that it changed to 420 p.m. or 420 a.m. So it just throws up Snoop Dogg right there, just as a little reminder that it's time to toke up if you're into that kind of thing. And last but not least, it's not a tweak, but we have a theme. And it's actually this theme that you've been looking at this entire video, and it's called Syndrome. Now this is a really cool theme. I really like the icons. It has a really dull and matte color finish, as you can see right here. And if we swipe over here, you can see that it has pretty good icon support. All themes hardly ever uh, do they all theme every single one of my icons, just because I have a whole lot of icons. But you can see right here, you can get a nice look and feel of what this is going to look like. I think it looks pretty good on a dark background. And of course, if you guys want this background, I'll put it up on Twitter, so just make sure to follow me there. Now, if we pull up on the control center, you'll notice that we have all new glyphs for the control center. And I actually think it looks pretty nice. Now, this is a tweak called recent. This is not something you're gonna get with the theme, so just keep that in mind. But if we go into our settings, you'll also notice that we have circular colored icon for all of these different categories, as you can see right there. We have a new battery right up there at the top, as well as Wi-Fi and data. And also we have some sounds. Now I'm not gonna show you everything that comes with this theme just because it has a whole lot of different things, but you can see that it has a really nice sounding keyboard. And it's something that I'm definitely gonna be keeping on the device, even probably when I switch themes eventually. So it's always nice to have a nice sounding keyboard just because it makes that whole typing experience just a little bit better. But that's all I have for the top five tweaks and themes this week. Let me know what you guys think about them all in the comments below. Now, of course, if you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.